Welcome back you guys. I am coming to you with some interesting updates for the day, as we look to break down the latest on Mason Mount, with how far negotiations have reached with Manchester United on the final price for the player, and Chelsea's stance. We will also be looking at Colwell's future decision by the board, a moment Brighton are pushing harder to secure the player on a fee when Chelsea previously rejected their opening bid, insisting the young sensation is part of the new project. We will also be looking on Villarreal striker Nicholas Jackson's medical arrangement, with the deal close to finalization. We will then conclude with the latest on Chelsea's midfield top target Moises Caicedo, with Chelsea seemingly getting close to finalize the deal, as personal terms had already been agreed. But before we delve into it, take a second or two of your time to smash that subscribe button without bruising it, give the video a thumbs up if you find the content informative, and most importantly, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so as not to miss crucial details concerning Chelsea's top transfers, as things are starting to catch heat in the transfer arena. Without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Chelsea's first outgoing of the summer transfer window could come this week with numerous first-team stars close to departures. Mateo Kovacic looks set to sign Manchester City while Kai Havertz is closing in on a move to Arsenal. Kalidou Koulibaly is the latest name to join that list with Saudi Arabian outfit Al-Hilal submitting an opening bid said to be between 25 to 30 million euros, 21.3 pounds to 25.6 million pounds. Manchester United are also preparing their second formal offer for Mason Mount after a 40 million pound bid was rejected last week. Mason Mount is having 12 months remaining in his current contract with the Blues, and this summer could prove vital in his future. The Blues currently will not settle for anything less than £70 million, and this has brought about a hard time trying to negotiate with Manchester United who believe the player is overpriced, with just a season left on Mount's contract. Chelsea are not willing to let go of the player for a cheaper price, despite the English international likely to leave the club on free next summer. Chelsea will also keep pushing to change the player's mind to sign a new contract, after the two parties failed to come to an agreement after a season-long negotiation. As for incomings, Moises Caicedo remains the priority and the Blues are now trying to include several players, including Conor Gallagher or Armando Broja, in a potential swap deal. Brighton are more interested into their former on-loan defender, Levi Colwell who is expected to be part of Chelsea first squad under the guidance of Chelsea manager Mauricio Pochettino. The Blues had already rejected Brighton's bid for the young defender, but they will keep pushing to the end. Now let us switch gears on Nicholas Jackson's latest. According to Spanish outlet Diario AS, Nicholas Jackson will travel to London for his Chelsea medical this week and sign a five-year contract with an option for another year. The 21-year-old striker has been heavily linked with a move to Stamford Bridge recently as Mauricio Pochettino hopes to bolster his front line this summer. On the other hand, his signing will not end the Blues' pursuit for Napoli and Nigeria striker Victor Osimhen. Lavia to Arsenal? Much has already been said about leverage Chelsea may have in the race to sign Romeo Lavia with director Joe Shields, formerly of Southampton, key in bringing him to St. Mary's from Manchester City last summer. However, Arsenal could have a secret weapon of their own. According to RMC Sports' Sasha Tavalieri, Lavia shares the same agent, Emika Obesai, as Buke Osaka. The report states that Obesai has a good relationship with the Gunners after wrapping up a new contract for the Hayland star earlier this year. It is also noted in the report, however, that Chelsea have met with Lavia's father to discuss a potential move. The race is on. Let's switch gears to updates surrounding Levi Colwell. According to Fabrizio Romano, Chelsea's plan this summer is to keep the England under-21 international and offer him a bumper new deal. The report states that the Seagulls will submit another bid for Colwell soon while Calado Koulibaly remains at the club. However, the Blues are looking to offload the 31-year-old defender, who only joined last year, in order to help make guarantees to the youngster. Kalido Koulibaly's switch to Arabia may increase chances for the young English defender to make appearances and gain experience and confidence from the time he will be on the pitch for Chelsea. However, Chelsea will need the right partnership to enhance his development. Experienced defenders like Thiago Silva could propel his career to greatness. Chelsea receive first Calido Koulibaly bid. Chelsea have received a transfer offer for defender Calido Koulibaly from Saudi Arabian club Al Hilal. Negotiations are set to continue in the coming days with the first bid said to be between 25 to 30 million euros, 
21.3 pounds to 25.6 million pounds, according to transfer guru Fabrizio Romano. Just like we stated earlier, transfer for the Senegal defender would be a good fate for the young English defender Levi Colwell, as he seeks to make a mark at Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea have presented Caicedo transfer swap idea. Chelsea could look to include one of their own players in a swap deal to sign Moises Caicedo from Brighton, as that would bring down the asking price for the Brighton midfielder, and subsequently help Chelsea offload its bloated squad. Levi Colwell would be the main man of interest to the Seagulls, but the Blues have no intention of letting him leave on a permanent deal. According to Fabrizio Romano, Armando Broja also won't be included in any deal after reports linked the Cobham Academy graduate with a move to the Seagulls. A report from The Guardian does claim that Conor Gallagher could be included in any deal though. Manchester United are preparing to make their final bid for Mason Mount in the coming week, according to a report from the Daily Mail. The Red Devils are expected to offer £50 million for the midfielder as they make the deal a final chance to strike an agreement with Chelsea. That fee is still way off Chelsea's valuation but the Blues could be tempted to enter negotiations with their impending FFP deadline on June 30th. Let's conclude our day's video with the latest on Dusan Blahovic as Pochettino seems to favor the attacker for his style of play. According to Italian journalist Rudy Galletti, Mauricio Pochettino wants to work with Dusan Blahovic this season and Chelsea are discussing whether to make a move or not. The Juventus striker has been heavily linked with a move to the Premier League for a while now after he first made a name for himself at Fiorentina. Chelsea have got many names for the number 9. But only time will tell the final names that will land at Stamford Bridge before transfer window closed. We will keep in touch for many more amazing stories to do with Chelsea Football Club, and as far as the transfer market is concerned. Todd Bully and the board are working around the clock to get these deals done and release unwanted team names to enable the new Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino to have the best squad on time for the preseason campaign. Some names such as Christopher Nkunku was already on his way to the Blues after completing a move earlier last season, pending announcement. That's where we wrap our coverage for today as we are excitedly wait to begin the new season on a high note, after a shaky season, full of drama, and many signings. As the clock keeps ticking, we are hoping for the best for our club, and for better results when the season begins on 11th of August, 2023. Don't forget to keep the conversation going, by giving your takes and opinions down here at the comment section as your comment makes this channel more engaging and better. A like will help for the ranking on this video, and for that reason make sure to hit the like button and get the likes to at least 100. Keep it here and we'll get in touch with more development on the transfer market. Until next time, bye-bye.